What is going on guys? I'm Watch Share Go and today we're gonna start the limo for the last time. Let's hop in here. Oh, I put it on the charger this morning just to make sure everything would be good since it's a little cold outside. Always have to hit this thing twice. There we go, she runs again. Let's get the charger off it. Get my uh battery charger inside here, pack up these cords. We're gonna grab an air tank because we're trading it for something from the 80s I always wanted. We're gonna throw a little bit of air in my air tank here. I don't know if the tires will be aired up on the new car, but I sure love the way this is all set up. Jerry decided to take out the new Grom. Do a quick spin around the neighborhood. Go for it. What, let the... No, jack away. Oh, is he trying to change the open the valve? Yeah, it's open. Uh, I think. Man. Oh, no, it's... I know, it's almost perfectly balanced. Almost. There's no, yeah, there's no way that it needed this much help. There, anyway, it's all the way yeah, in. It's, we're good. Locked in, boss. All right, there's the big trailer lock. We could actually pull it forward another couple inches just to help out. A lot of you guys have been asking how long the limo is for a long time. I measured wheel to wheel, so we got 14 foot right there, and then I measured bumper to bumper, and it's about 21 feet. So it's not super long, but you know, it's a 20 foot car. Let me uh, move it forward a few inches. The limo's on the trailer, we got it strapped down, shove the straps in the door. We put a boomer on the back to lock it down because it's fully framed, so there's lots of places to hook to on this. That's super convenient and uh we took the jag around the block real quick i sent my brother out in it so it is in its nice new parking spot and i also swept up the whole entire curb to make the videos look nice for you guys let's go so the limo weighs a lot i think we all know that but it weighs a lot on the back axle. And of course, with how long the limo is, we had to load it with the rear axle kind of all the way back on the dovetail. And then we uh, just boomed it on there. So you can actually tell it's probably, the rear axle is about two foot in front of the rear of the trailer. So uh, with how much weight we've got off the back of the truck, it just waves anytime you're above 50. So we are pulling this thing like an hour, hour and a half, and uh, it's just in cruise control at 50. This was definitely a fun trip. If you ever need to haul a limo, get a rollback or uh, use a gooseneck or something like that because it is a lot of weight. The sun is almost down now and we are pulling up to the shop that wants to pick this bad boy up. They're buying it because they want to do the Gambler 500, which is probably the perfect use for this thing. It'll go through about whatever you send it through as long as you carry enough momentum, probably even a little bit of mud. And honestly, the Ford 46 is a pretty reliable V8 once you get everything sorted out. Uh, this is Jordan, him and Steve are the guys that want to take this across the country. 
Yes. So that sounds like an adventure, and uh, <laughs> I might join in on that adventure too. 84, 2.5 liter, the four cylinder, so it's not as prone to uh, dying like the V6s are, I would assume. I know the door plate is completely like worn out. You can't see anything on it. This seems like fun though. I've always wanted a Fiero. It's missing the whole front bumper. Well, this is what we thought we were gonna take across the country. Oh, the code works on the door. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, all the electric locks work, all six doors. The trunk pull down <laughs> works. The radio works great. All right, you're loose. All right. Oh, also it has wigwags too. So when you're a gambler, here, let's see if it'll fire. <laughs> They're driving it back into the hole there, putting it away. Time to load up the Fiero. Yeah. All right, the Fiero is loaded up. It doesn't have any brakes, so we had to shove it in gear once it was on the trailer and of course deal with the trailer tilt at the same time. But here it is. It is the four cylinder, the 2M4 Fiero. No front bumper, uh, the engine's not running and they don't have the keys for it. So those are the big problems we have to work out. This is a long-term project, I think. All right, ready to go again. Let's do it. So that is the end of the limo saga. That was a good one. And now on to the Fiero project. But there's so many other awesome projects in the pipeline with the S-Type R and, uh, you know, the secret car you guys haven't seen yet, but might have seen yet, depending on when I release the video. But just get excited for all the new car projects, tractor updates coming soon. Uh, if there was still light, the 60 probably would have ran today. Jared's excited. He wants to do some work. Quick diesel stop with the Fiero. Let's check this thing out real quick. We've got the wonderful pop-up headlights. I love those. So many pop-up headlight cars in my life and I always can't wait to have another one, mostly Corvettes. But uh, it's pretty rough inside. Most of the interior is laying over there in the passenger side. The seats are okay. This door panel's coming off. There's some trim here that looks like it's gone. Yeah, the hatch opens up. There's no battery in there. These seals look a little bit rough. The gauges are hanging out back here. I don't think this car is actually savable, but we're gonna check it out and try to get it running at least and drive it like one time. I don't wanna go uh, all in on something like this. There's uh, so much stuff missing on this car. The trim pieces are missing, the headliner's falling down. Uh, the last time I was tagged was 2000, so 18 years ago it was on the road. And uh, radio's gone, it is a five speed. That's it, that's the Fiero overview. I think the Fiero just won the internet. I was putting diesel in the truck and going around checking out the car and the guy at the other pump said, is that one of them DeLoreans? So, <laughs> it just looks good. What are you guys doing over there? Have a wreck somehow? I don't know how you would have had a wreck there. And we are back in Wichita with my new Ferrari. All right, just kidding, we're going to eat. Gonna grab some uh, Philly cheese steaks from Pepper Jack. Dinner was delicious as always. Now off to the car wash, we're gonna clean this thing up. Just to see what we come up with here, mostly to get the engine bay clean because it's just literally full of dirt. I think it's been sitting open for a very long time. So uh, I'm excited for that. And I also wanna get the VIN and double check the year. And they said the, uh, the plate inside the door is basically shot. Let's see if we can find a VIN. Oh yeah, you can read that. You know, I gotta post all my finds on Venuiki. If you wanna follow me over there, it's Watch JR Go. The front end open, we hadn't looked at that before, but it didn't have brakes. So our first thought was that the master cylinder was gone or that like a, one of the calipers was disconnected. But instead, everything's here and it's got a nice looking brake proportioning valve and all not, the- Not quite everything. Almost everything. <laughs> oh, the headlights are gone. <laughs> headlights are gone. Oh no. <laughs> Well, that's probably not exactly easy to find, but I guess you could you could just put light bars in. That's what uh, it seems like go. everybody does. Yeah, the little short light bars, they fit perfectly. Uh, the jacks up front, it looks like some rats have been up front. Uh, wiring harness is disconnected up front. Spare tire is in here. And for some reason, inside the car, all of the, oh, there's the headlights right there. Oh, really? Yeah, they're laying in the uh, passenger side floorboard. <laughs> Both of them. Oh, good. There's the rear view mirror. The windshield's trash and the seal's ripped out. Uh, most of the dash is gone. The floor is covered in golf balls, like tons and tons of yeah. golf balls. What an insane project. 
Jared kind of wants it just to uh, drive to work and drive down the dirt roads and stuff. So. Yeah, maybe uh, we might we might make that happen. I don't know if I want this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but let's uh, yeah, let's throw the brush on here and ruin what's left of the paint. Most of the paint has actually like faded so far. This is like kind of bare metal. This is actually the exact same injection system off my 84 Corvette with Crossfire. <laughs> it's the same injector, the same connector, and the same throttle body setup. And let's see, uh, can we, oh, yep, the butterfly does move. It's actually really fun to watch this in slow motion. I'm gonna put a card in the video and you can watch the system run in slow motion and you can literally see it fog fuel down into the throttle body like that. It's, it's kind of cool to see. That's that. You know, no spot free today. <laughs> yeah. Spot free. Oh, we need to close that, huh? Didn't even get all the mud out of the cowl, and I didn't get the trailer clean either. We ran out of time. There is just so much dirt on this car. It must have sat for the last 20 years at least. Well, let's close the frunk and get out of here. And that is it for today, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time.